Local, state, and federal officials gathered at the construction site of the dam for the Chief Toker Reservoir Wednesday afternoon for a special announcement from the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. Reclamation Commissioner Camille Tutin said the federal agency was putting $7 million toward the construction of the reservoir, which adds to the $4.7 million the agency invested in the project last year. This project received $4.7 million last year through the inaugural announcement we made for Reclamation Small Storage Program. As many of you know, the Small Storage Program was authorized by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. And this program provides cost share funding for eligible small surface water and groundwater storage projects. So I'm here today to share some more good news because we're back. <laughs> The Ash Creek project will receive an additional $7 million this year. Among those gathered at the event were Joel Ferry, director of the Utah Department of Natural Resources, and Congresswoman Celeste Malloy. While speaking with reporters, Ferry noted how beneficial the federal funding will be while Malloy spoke to it being an example of how water projects should be done. So the, the local community has, uh, through the water district, through the county, has invested millions of dollars in this project and the state has as well. This is, this is a, a piece of a much bigger project, but having the federal partnership as well really shows this is, um, you know, the forefront of, of smart conservation, smart water use, smart planning for this community. And so, yes, this uh, the $7 million investment the federal government has made today is, is critical and is so important. It helps us keep this project going and to completion. It's a great example of how water projects should work. I get asked about water more than probably any other issue. And I always say water's a state issue. The state needs to take the lead, make their plan, decide what they want to do with water. And once they do that, then the federal government has a responsibility to back up the state on their plan. And this is what's happening here today. The Water Conservancy District planned for this reservoir. The state's on board. The local governments are on board. And now the federal partners are coming in and helping get it built. And it's an example of how this is supposed to work, but it doesn't always always work this way, so I'm really excited to see it happening. Once built, the Chief Toker Reservoir will have a capacity of 3,600 acres of water and is expected to provide approximately 1,700 acre feet of water annually. It is also anticipated to be a new source of water-based recreation that could end up becoming a new state park similar to Quail Creek or Set Hollow. To learn more, read the story. This is Maury Kessler reporting for St. George News, your number one source for local news.